So today we're back in career mode here in Beam and G Drive and we're going to become the criminal and stay tuned for later in the episode because we're going to buy another vehicle and we're going to upgrade one of our pre-existing vehicles to be the ultimate getaway vehicle. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. Okay, back in career mode here. Um, yes, you're probably wondering why do I have the old vehicle out and not my new Bastion? Uh, well, if you recall from last episode, we exploded it. So uh, I actually sold it. So hear me out. I know some people are gonna be like, well, why did you sell the Bastion? You could have fixed it. Well, yes, I could have fixed it, but I think the point of the career here, at least right now for me, is to try out different vehicle combos. So I was able to sell the thing almost for like a full refund. Like I got a lot of money back. So uh, we're gonna complete some jobs here to begin with. And then I'd like to build up to about 40 grand uh, or 40 beam bucks. And I wanna go out and purchase another vehicle. So uh, we're gonna test some things out, try to gain some money fairly quick and we'll get into something else. But I do wanna thank you guys for all the love and support on the career mode. You guys have been amazing on it. And uh, there was a lot of like really good suggestions. Like I know how we could have fixed the Bastion. Uh, it was just a couple parts, but I, I want to keep trying out vehicles. Also, do not ask why I left the hood open. It looks cool. It's for aerodynamics. I'm getting a lot of downforce with it. Uh, by the way, you guys can hit the thumbs up button if you want to see some more career mode. But you know what? I think we're going to go continue our career as a police because I feel like we're pretty efficient at that. And we're going to go chase down some baddies. All right, so we're heading to the scenario now. Uh, comment down below, like anybody that's played the career mode, Kind of what path are you taking right now? Are you buying vehicles? Are you saving up your money? If you're buying vehicles, what are you buying? Uh, I'll be curious as to how everybody's taking it on. Also, I want to thank uh, one of the Beam devs actually commented on the last career episode. Uh, they kind of just spilled the beans that a lot of the challenges is kind of filler right now. And I'm pretty sure the career mode is going to get a lot more, uh, I would say, in-depth uh, with the actual objectives that you do. So I actually really do look forward to that. But... Like I said, I think they have a fantastic start here. Let's try not to die on the way over. Could you imagine being in the cockpit right now? You can't see a thing in here. All right, we just rolled up in the neighborhood. Let's see what this event pays. Okay, so somebody's evading some house arrest here. We got to take him down. You must get back into your house. I guess that's the objective here. All right, uh, let's go ahead and try to get the suspect down as fast as possible. You know, these challenges can either end in like 30 seconds or they could take forever. Uh, depending on how efficient you are. Uh, I don't want to spear the suspect. I'd like to take him down. Oh, we do have some traffic up here. Got to be careful uh, that we don't run them over. Uh, come on, baby. Oh, we could skip the curb here. Here we go. Take down. Oh, oh, I missed the bumper. Oh, that was embarrassing. I should have committed a little bit more there. I was afraid I'd hit one of those poles. All right, are they going to turn here? Oh, they're turning. Oh, right to a minivan, probably full of children. It's fine. Okay, come on. Uh, where's their objective at? Oh, they might actually get there this time. Uh, this isn't good. <laughs> that car is pretty sporty, especially on the uh, straightaways here. Uh, looks like the AI is having a little bit of problems with the turning portion. Uh, if I pin them to the right, they've got an open field here. I need to get them into like a wall or something. Uh, oh, their objective is right there. No. No. Oh, geez. We're in the... Yep, we failed. All right, so we have to spear them pretty much immediately. Okay, here we go. We're hopping curves. Uh, if there's people on the sidewalk, they might as well just watch out because I'm doing a takedown immediately. We're going right into a house. Oh, my goodness, right into another car. Oh, I'm, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Don't get away. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. That's a good spin. Oh, let's try to just pin them here. Uh, keep them. Oh, they're backing up. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. It's over. It is over, suspect. Uh, waiting for it. Why am I not getting a countdown here? I've got the suspect pinned. There we go. Hey, that was worth 7,500. So we got most of the objectives. Uh, so that was pretty decent. So we're heading to our next police chase. These are really satisfying to do. I also thought about what if we just pumped in a lot of money to this car and just made it like the ultimate like street racer. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Or maybe we just do that and we can buy another fairly cheap car. I guess it depends on when we go... Uh, to the dealerships here in a little bit uh, what's available because I was honestly kind of surprised to see some of the used vehicles last time and they were reasonable prices maybe that's why my engine blew uh, in the other car I'm not sure okay so this one's a little bit different we're actually running from the police so we must outsmart them I feel like I do this quite often so if we win in under uh, two minutes we get some bonuses here I feel like or actually a minute and 20 
Maybe we should do that. Oh, this is using the arrest and evade uh, little app at the top. Okay, we just gotta outsmart him. I mean, we're in a base D series. Nothing too special about this, but you know what? It does actually go off-roading. Like, how is this not the best strat? Uh, my offense is speeding right now. Oh, well, good luck actually following me here. I mean, look at me. I'm just gonna cut across. Oh, there's a cop up there. Wait, wait, he's actually gonna cut me. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Okay, okay, just hold on to it here. Dude, the cop actually almost cut me off there. Like, that was it. Wait, there's another one here. Oh, uh, lightly damaged is not a thing right now for me. I have failed one of the objectives. There's four units on me right now. Uh, no, this is perfectly fine. My car is wobbling right now. Is that normal? Probably not. I don't think I've ever seen a door do that. Okay, uh, I would like to get away from him completely, but we're almost to our objective. Oh, my good. I did not think about this, did I? Oh! <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so maybe cutting right across was not a good idea. Uh, don't think we're getting this the first attempt here. Uh, I legit screwed this up. Yeah, running right across was not a good. Uh, can I just pit the police off? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way around to get to this neighborhood. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> we're gonna pit the police, and we're just gonna go right into a tree here. Boom! Oh, thankfully this isn't my vehicle. Yep, front drive shaft is broken all right let's reset it okay i need a different strat here what if i just immediately pull a yui like do they know how to follow me there oh uh no they don't they don't like hop in the median for some reason uh so this might be a legit strat here i mean a part of me is still tempted to go off-roading uh but oh wait what's the eye up in the top mean does that mean they have eyes on me or oh geez what are you doing why would you turn in front of me? Do I need to go get down on the highway? What are we doing here? I'm sliding. I'm going to hip check this cop. Okay, uh, I'm okay with not doing the one objective with the light damage. Because, I mean, you got to uh, make contact. Why did I become a worse driver when I'm in missions? Uh, let's just follow the objective. And hopefully we can get there in a decent time. Uh, let's not cut across the highway. Oh, my goodness. What? They seem more aggressive in this mode. Uh, okay. Oh, that was a save right there. Bye, losers. Okay, we're just going to take a right. Might have to hop the curb. Do stuff that they won't normally do. Uh-oh, uh I just popped a tire. That's probably not good. I got three stars or three police badges above me. What does that mean? Uh, it doesn't matter. We're almost escaped to the house. Wait, what happens if we get to the house? I feel like it's just going to be a police standoff. And, oh, there's another tire down. And here we go. The police are too close. Wait, come back later. I better get paid really good for this. Uh, the police are too co close. Like, how am I supposed to escape in a D-series? Uh-oh, I am totally stuck right now. This is actually a legit pretty tough challenge. Okay, yep, we uh, totally screwed this up. Okay, maybe we should go where they're telling us here. Like, I feel like there's something to this. There's a reason they aimed us to this off-ramp, uh, and I completely ignored it last time. Uh, so how do we evade them? I mean, maybe go hide in the woods for a little bit? That's a strat. So if I go over here and hide in a bush, is this a legit way to get past the Beam and G AI? Okay, they have no eyes on me right now. At what point do I get the evade, though? Like, this is taking way too long. I'm in a bush right now. I got two units on me. Okay, so if I cut across and, like, try to actually go complete the objective here, what happens? Okay, let's just go across. Yeah, they're waiting. So it's like they do have eyes on me. Like, I'm actually legit confused by this objective. Uh, oh, God. That was bad. Okay, across the median. There we go. See, now I've already got five police officers on me. They have eyes on me. So I need to find a different way into the neighborhood. Like, I think just completing this challenge would be great. I don't know if we're going to get any of these objectives. Uh, okay, going the wrong way. Yep, that's a thing. Okay, uh, maybe if I pit one of them. Uh, I should probably try to throw them off here. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go this way. Hey, hey follow me through here. Follow me through here. No, it's great. Uh, oh, the counter is going. No. I don't think they're right behind me, potentially, unless they spawn another one in front of me, which, I mean, it seems like that's what they're liking uh, to do here. No, look, they spawn one right in front of you. How are you supposed to actually evade anything? The police are too close. Hold on. The icon's gone. The eye icon was gone. Like, how are you supposed to even do this? Okay, let's go out this road. I'm gonna make a big loop around my own neighborhood. This is fine. I think I found the police challenge that actually doesn't really make sense. Try following me up here, losers. That ain't gonna happen. So if I go out to this road, which there should be a road over here, guess what's gonna happen? There's gonna be police on it. They're waiting there. The, the game is spawning them right in front of you. So hold on, does this count? Wait, they turned off sirens right there. Hold on, the icon's back up. It, is it because they see me right now or what's going on here? Okay, we're gonna back up here. Not gonna lie, this is kind of a goofy objective. 
to be honest with you. Not sure I like the way this is set up. Look, they're right here. They're waiting on me. Like they know where I'm at. Okay, you know, whip it around. Okay, so we're gonna do 180 here. And if I go down this way and there's cops waiting on me, I know they're spawning them in front of me. So it's like, how do you actually get away from them here? Because I have not seen that evade light up at all. So, okay, they're up there now. So if I take a right, is there gonna be units in the neighborhood waiting for me? Like, say they spawn them right over here. Like, look, they're right here. They spawned them right on me. Oh, and it's green right now. Why is it green? Wait, that makes no sense. <laughs> also, I for all of that work, I got 750. Uh, we did unlock another mission, though. That was extremely strange, if you ask me. So we've got another evade the police here. We are going to be running with the money here in... Actually, that kind of rhymed. Uh, in the sunburst. So... I'm thinking about upgrading our current vehicle and maybe we make the ultimate like fugitive escape vehicle and we can always come back to the missions uh, after we've completed the objective and use our own vehicle and just see if we can evade them and I think there's a potential to get some more stars. I don't know if it disables that or not but I, I feel like we can use our own vehicle in these and if we had something that was souped up we'd be able to escape the police. By the way, why is our offense racing right now? I'm not racing anybody. I'm just driving my car. Oh, it's spawning a lot in front of us. Oh my goodness. Okay, guess what, losers? <laughs> you all took the wrong turn. Wait, where am I going right now? Am I going up to the cabin? Look, I got a green circle here. Wait, what? This doesn't make sense. Okay, I like this one. Target location. Oh, oh no. That was just to get the money. Oh, okay. I was about to say, that was the easiest thing ever. Now we're completely screwed here. Uh, we gotta find a good way. Oh, the evade actually lit up that time. I don't wonder if it was just bugged out on that first mission. I don't know. I know the perfect place to go to escape the police here. We're gonna go over here. Wait, the evade's lighting up. Uh, hold on. Can I stay here? Are they that confused? This is a strat here. So the evade icon. I was gonna go down to the docks because I think they have problems getting into certain like dock areas or I was gonna head out to the new island. Uh, that might be a strat too. Hold on, I think we're good. How much money are we gonna get for this? Dude, this is perfect. How come this was so much easier than the one before? Uh, wow, 7,500, and then we unlocked another mission here. I don't know how many police missions they have, but this is amazing. I think I wanna do one more, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have plenty of money to maybe figure out the ultimate getaway car. Okay, so we're ready to run from the police here in the city. This is gonna be loaded with money. I feel like I wanna try to get all the objectives here. I mean, I'm probably only gonna get the main ones, but yeah, it's fine. Also, they're already right behind me. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I got an idea, watch this. Uh, boom, rip the e-brake. Oh my goodness, that wasn't even a big rip there. <laughs> like, I could not get this tank to go sideways. Uh, okay, let's go down through here. Wait, they have roadblocks? It says it evade the police and pass through roadblocks uh, i haven't seen any roadblocks yet but watch this oh you guys all just crashed over here i mean technically hold on is this a strat i'm evading them right now <laughs> these might be the dumbest police if i just evaded them by going under this building uh i'm sure the police ai is gonna get much better oh i see him coming around uh oh <sighs> come on the evade is almost done and boom success yeah, that was so easy. Now, I think you could go back in here and earn more money if you, like, purposely made the police chase last five minutes and if you pass through uh, four roadblocks. I feel like we should do that. I mean, we've already gotten the 7,500. Why not try to complete this one with all the stars? Okay, here we go. So let's stay on the path that they kind of set us up with here. And uh, I want to maybe make my way to the highway. Those are probably the easiest roadblocks to actually evade. Uh, oh my goodness, he just launched. What a, uh oh, no, 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 I saw that coming. Oh my goodness, he just hit a pole. Okay, we're good. Uh, 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 we're gonna have to get, uh, I guess a little rough with the police here. Okay, where are the roadblocks at? All right, we're gonna go ahead to the highway. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It slid a little bit that time. Uh, honestly, I'm kind of enjoying that they have this like criminal thing going on now. Uh, oh, geez, don't turn in front of me. Uh, I would like to see them maybe separate the leveling for this. Like maybe you have like a police level and a criminal level. Uh, I feel like that would be kind of cool. I'm dragging something. I see sparks coming from under the car. Okay, if I could just get up to the highway here, like I feel like this is gonna be good. <sighs> oh man, I hope that didn't damage the steering. I have a ton of damage right now. Okay, whip it around. Uh, all right, here we go. Yep, you're gonna follow me. All right, so hopefully the roadblocks spawn up here. I would like to get that objective, and I need to go for the five-minute uh, police chase here. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, they're following behind. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, that was a good pit. 
Uh, where are the roadblocks at? Why have you guys not set them up? Uh, okay, let's go by this one. Does that count as a roadblock? I mean, I don't think it does. I think they have to be sideways, and I have yet to see them do that. Uh, they normally do actually do that, though. I've seen it many times, but I feel like they're just not spawning them right now. Uh, it's fine. I'm avoiding a lot of cops here. Uh, we're going to have to whip a 180. So slow it, slow it, slow it, slow it. And, oh, come on, turn, you tank. There we go. Oh, they're going to follow me up through here. Okay, we're going to race up this side of the highway. At least maybe I can get the five-minute pursuit. Uh, I don't know about the roadblock right now. It seems like they're not spawning them, which is kind of a shame. Uh, but maybe maybe it's going to count. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a... What the heck? That's a good roadblock. Did you see that? It had barriers on it. Wait, that was crazy looking. I don't think they actually do roadblocks like that when you have the normal police AI out. Okay, we're going to take the exit. We're going to go right back up the highway. I feel like this is the easiest way to get this objective complete. And then we have to go hide from them, which, I mean, honestly, that hasn't been really much of an issue. Oh, no, no, don't evade them yet. Uh, I see the objective kind of like ending. No, 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 I need you to, to see me. See me, I'm up here, you ding-dongs. Uh, don't give me the objective yet. I need this to last five minutes. Uh, I'm over here. Do you see me? Oh, no. Oh, I might, like, actually complete the challenge without... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see me? I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm going to get the evade. Really? I got the evade. So on that one, you have to purposely make it last long, which I thought going up and down the highway, they would always see me. Apparently not. All right. Well, we can complete that objective a little bit later. Is anybody else annoyed that I have the hood open? I mean, we're going to call it maximum cooling. Uh, so yeah, we're heading down to a dealership right now. We're going to go look at the deals and then debate uh, because I have, I think, over uh, $40,000 here to spend. So we'll go to... Uh, Rick's Motors here and see what they have to offer. There's a lot of cars on the outside right now. Uh, let's see what we can maybe get into. Guys, are you closed right now? What? Uh, for some reason, I can't get into Rick's Motors. Uh, did, did something glitch out? Uh, hey, let me in here. Are you guys closed? Do we have office hours? What's going on here? Okay, so we're back. Uh, it was just a minor bug. I just reset. Uh, I do have the dealerships now. So we're going to go to Side Auto Sales, which is right across... Uh, from our garage and just see what their inventory is like right now uh you never know maybe we do buy a vehicle here Corey side I, I need to i need to get inside of you uh do i have to wait why is this not working on i got this okay so this is what we have at this dealership um i mean there's some decent stuff in here nothing where i'm just going man i need to buy this uh, there is a D series down here. It's only 9,000 bucks. It does have a lot of mileage on it, but I think having a D series in the arsenal is just probably a be all vehicle, do all vehicle. So I think let's inspect it real quick. High mileage. I don't know if they're going to start to like take mileage into effect on vehicles. Like I'm wondering if eventually we're going to have to do like oil changes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, a uh, little bit older vehicle, still probably plenty capable and with some minor tweaks and upgrades. Uh, I feel like it would just be a good workhorse vehicle. So, you know, I think we're going to have to buy this. Uh, we can go and pop the hood here. I just like the whole fact that we can inspect the vehicles at the dealership. Yeah, uh, let's go with this one. Uh, it's cheap enough to where, look, it's only going to cost us 10000 We have 46000 There is still plenty room uh, for upgrades on both vehicles. So I'm going to go purchase and boom. Uh, we now have this vehicle. We're just going to drive it right across. And you know what? Eventually we will save up for some more high-end vehicles, but... I'm pretty happy what we have here. Yes, also, I did leave the hood open. All right, so we're going to park this one in storage, and let's go upgrade our, we'll call it our getaway car here. Okay, so time to upgrade our pursuit vehicle here. Uh, yes, we need more power out of this bad boy. Now, I'm going to try not to make the same mistake that I did with the uh, Bastion and uh, putting too much power to it to where it explodes. Uh, but yeah, uh, we got some stuff we can do to this bad boy here. So let's go to engine. See, long block, I'm pretty sure we have uh, the stage three performance one. Uh, so I don't think we have to do anything there. In engine management, uh, let's get the adjustable race ECU. Uh, I don't believe I already have one of those in there. Let's go ahead and get some uh, heavy duty engine mounts. Put those in here. We've got to be able to take all the power we're going to give this bad boy. By the way, we're going to go ahead and put on the wide body fenders here on the fronts. Uh, so we need to do the left side now. There we go. Now we just got to get bigger tires. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, they're kind of stuck in there a little bit. Do we want to do that to the rear? I feel like we can do that to the rears, too. Okay, so for the intake, I wanted to go with a Stage 2 turbocharger. Uh, so we're going to install that. Let's make sure we support that with, like, maximum cooling here. 
go ahead and put in our nitrous system. That's going to be the next upgrade here. What are we at? Uh, we've spent 12000 on this thing so far. Uh, do I have anything for the rear bumper? I kind of want to change this thing out. It's not the greatest looking, I think. Do I have the wide body in here? Oh, I might have already had the wide body in here. Hold on, let's back that off. Yeah, I already had the wide body on there. I need to match the fenders, though. The fenders look kind of funny. There we go. There's that wide body kit. That was $3,000 there. We're 15000 into this build so far. Uh, exhaust. I, I think I already have the race one installed, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, made sure we have maximum cooling. So we have oil coolers, uh, radiator coolers, like the high performance ones. So I think that's all installed, ready to go. Let's go ahead and put a race oil pan in here. Uh, got that upgraded. I think we've done a lot to the engine here. I feel like this thing's gonna make a lot more power. It's gonna be nice. Okay, we gotta put a shift light on the inside of this. I feel like that's like an upgrade almost everybody does. So let's go. I just wanted the, uh, I want the shift light, just a single one. Did it install it on the dash or where did it actually go? Uh, I don't quite see it in there. Maybe I have to do something to the dash. They have the police equipment that you can put into the interior, but I'm not seeing any sort of changes there to the dash. Uh, so I'm thinking that we do another livery here. Uh, wait, what's the track day beater look like? Okay, I think that's what we had on there. Uh, we had that Nomi livery, and this is colorable. Uh, I kind of like that. Yeah, honestly, even if it was just like normal, uh, I don't feel like that's bad either. So that's $22,000 uh, spent so far. We need to fix the front wheels. I need them to be a little wider here. By the way, we're also going to go ahead and start to upgrade uh, the front suspension. Going to kind of put like a race setup on there. Oh, it definitely went down a little bit. Nice. Let's go ahead and install an anti-lock braking system. I feel like I lock up the brakes in this car a lot. There we go. Uh, still at 24,000. Uh, I've still got like another 10K to put in this. We're going to go all out with this one. Okay, we've got a couple other things we're addressing. I did uh, go ahead and put a race seat in here. I should be able to remove the other seats. So I'm going to definitely strip down on some parts here. Uh, that way we uh, definitely get a little bit better weight. Uh, let's go front. Let's put the race brakes on this bad boy. Because, uh, yeah, I need to do quite a bit of weight reduction. Like, I think a lot of the interior parts can go. Okay. All right. I put the beam navigator in there. There should be a shift light. All right. So we got $29,000. let us go ahead and spend the money here. Uh, let's see if I can maybe try to swap out. Like, I'd love to be able to tune a couple things on here. I need to figure out where I could strip parts off. Can I just do it in the normal menu? So yeah, we've uh, we've upgraded quite a bit here. Uh, let me see. Okay, I don't see like the normal parts menu that we used to have. I need to figure out how to get parts off of this thing. Okay, so that's uh, so the one thing I need to figure out how to do. Like, how do I remove parts? Uh, it's kind of not like explained, and I feel like it should be easier to do than it is. Uh, there's definitely got to be something, and it's probably like literally in front of me where I'm like, oh. That's how you remove parts, because I'd like to reduce uh, weight by getting rid of some of the seats and stuff. Uh, by the way, you can hear that turbo. Oh my goodness. So we have upgraded suspension. Uh, it definitely goes sideways down. Brakes traction. Uh, we got the anti-lock brakes, so I can now slam on the brakes. Uh, I don't think I'm going to install any sort of like traction control. I don't know if you can do that with this vehicle, but oh my goodness. Uh, we've done the thing. It's definitely upgraded. It's definitely a lot faster. Oh, I'm getting a lot of wheel spin. We haven't blown the engine either. Doesn't look like it's running hot. Uh, so I think we've got our cooling right. Probably we'll have to go into the tuning menu and do a little bit of work on it. Let's take it out to where we can go a little bit faster here. Uh, shall we spray the nitrous real quick? Let's go ahead and do that. Nitrous is armed. All right, here we go. Uh, oh my goodness. I might need to adjust the transmission. Maybe even buy a little bit of an upgraded transmission on. Let's hit the brakes here. Oh man, the brakes work so much better. Like, I actually feel like I can get away uh, from stuff in this car. Uh, it does still slide, so it's got that nice rear wheel drive uh, characteristics to it. Uh, but yeah, we seem to kind of get stuck in the gears a little bit. I'm going to have to definitely go to manual, I think, with this one. But my goodness, it's a blast to drive, and I know it's like pretty freaking fast for what it is. All right, we're gonna head out to the highway real quick. Uh, one more little run, but yeah, as soon as I figure out how to paint this thing, uh, which it is colorable, I need to probably just dig around in the forms or something. Uh, but look at this speed. Yep, there we go. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this thing books. Uh, he oh my goodness, I was looking down at the heating to see how it was cooling down and I have totaled our career mode vehicle. Um, no, it's totally fine. I got 500 bucks. I could totally just get this thing fixed. Well, that's a definitely a way to end this one. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of this, comment down below. Let me know what we should do to the D series and we'll see you guys next time.